In this video, I'm going to show you how to bulk create YouTube Shorts using ChatGPT, Canva, and Google Sheets. No hanging about, let's get straight into it. Firstly, open up ChatGPT and let's get some content. What I'm going to do is ask it to create a list of 30 facts about the world. Put it in a table with two columns. In the first column, put the number order of the fact, for example, fact one, fact two, fact three, etc. In the second column, put the actual fact. So hopefully that's clear. Then I'm just going to press enter. And as you can see, it's creating a column one and column two. You'll see why it's important to create a table shortly. So once that's done, I'll copy and paste this into Google Sheets. It actually stopped generating midway through fact 28, but that's no problem. I can just ask ChatGPT to continue writing if I wanted to finish it off. But for the purposes of this video, I can just use the 27 and a half facts we have here. So what I'll do is I'll scroll back to the top, highlight both columns, then click copy, and then head over to a Google Sheets document, right click or just paste that in. As you can see, the two columns are pasted in. What I'll do is just so that you can see it, I'll just make the text black and just remove the background color so you can see it. There you go, lots of data in a Google spreadsheet. Now I'll just click on the title and rename this document. I'll just call it World Facts. Click away to save that. Now I'll click on File, Download and save it as a CSV file, a comma separated value. You need, it, you need to save it in this format so that we can input it into Canva. So head over to Canva. Now I'm going to create a YouTube short. So I'll just search for a YouTube short template. Now I'll choose one of these standard templates they have. Because this is a video about world facts, I'll just choose this one. Or I can choose any one and I'm going to customize it anyway. So once that loads, I'm just going to delete these three extra pages I don't need them I just need one page and then I'm going to bulk create 28 other pages based on the facts that I created so I'm going to select this text no actually I'm going to change the video so I'm going to click and delete the video now I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to add in a video I have of the world spinning because it's a dark background, I can put white text on top of it. So let me just find that video. Here it is. I'll click and drag that onto the page. Okay, just reposition it slightly. I, you can do that by double clicking it and then dragging it across just to get the framing correct. So we've got some animated arrows at the bottom and then we've got an outline of a mountain. I'll just get rid of the mountain because I don't want that. I think I'll keep the arrows, so I'll just leave that there. The text looks okay. It could be slightly more readable, but for the purposes of this video, I'll keep it as it is. Now I'll click on bulk create and upload my CSV file. So let me find the file and upload it. And as you can see, it's picked up two data fields, fact number and the fact. So what I need to do is assign them to different elements. Because there's two elements, I need two text boxes. So I'm just going to copy and paste this and create two text boxes on the page. I'll just make it slightly smaller because this is going to be for the fact number and this one's going to be for the main fact. So what I'll do is I'm, I'm going to shrink it because some of the facts are several sentences long. So I'll just make i'll just make the text slightly smaller and push it higher up just to give it more space when it does generate the actual text i'll also move the arrows at the bottom now what i'm going to do is attach the text to it so right click on it click connect data and i'm going to connect it to fact and i'm going to click this left click connect data fact number let me see so this video is 16 seconds long. I'm just going to shrink it down to about five seconds. That should be long enough to read the facts one by one. Once that's done, I am going to click continue. And as you can see, it's loaded all the facts in a list. Now you can upload all of them 
or just select the ones you want. You see this fact at the bottom, fact 28, that one didn't complete, but I'll generate it anyway, and then I can delete it here once it's created the pages. And there you go, 28 individual pages created with the 28 facts. So if I scrub along the timeline, you can see the text comes in, it's animated. Let me see, I've got fact one, two, and three. Yeah, it looks like it's all fitted in nicely. Okay, if you wanted to make one of the clips longer, you can click and drag it as I did here. You can also change the transition between them. You can use a slide if you want. I prefer dissolve because the world is spinning, so it will look natural if it just spins and dissolves into the next video. As you can see, there are 28 pages created. I'm going to select the last one because this one didn't complete. Delete that. Okay, as you can see, fact 27, this one was quite long. So it actually overlapped the bottom element. So you can go in and adjust them if needed. With a bit more foresight, I could have predicted this and adjusted it before I imported it. Um, but that's something you can just adjust as you go along. As you can see, the bulk of the work is created. If you did want to change the video behind any of the text, you can go in and do that one by one. If you want a quick and dirty way to create YouTube shorts, this is it. And it doesn't just apply to this. You could do a YouTube shorts channel about jokes and just get jokes from ChatGPT. Or you can do motivational quotes and have the author instead of the fact number. So you can have the author at the bottom and then the quote at the top and connect those two columns. I mean, once you're finished fine tuning it, what you can do is click on share, then click on download. Here, make sure it's on MP4. Now you can choose to download the entire thing. This is all 27 facts, but remember, YouTube Shorts, you only have a maximum of 60 seconds, so this is probably too long. What you could do is download them either one by one, or you can download five or six of them, and this would be one short. Download that, then come in, unselect it, then download the next bunch, and that would be another YouTube Short, and then go in, deselect those, download another bunch and click done. So you can download a bunch of them as one file or the entire thing. And then click download and you're good to go. So there you go. That's how to make YouTube shorts with Canva, ChatGPT and Google Sheets. Hope you found this video useful. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.